woman. You know how we do it. Every week on Strength of a Woman, we get to feature a woman who's doing an impactful thing in the society. And this week's Strength of a Woman is no different. We have Salex Karimi, who is a research and media consultant. Karibu Sada. Thank you very much. <laughs> you look nice. Thank you, and you too. Niko Salama. You know, I've been looking out um Nikinga studio when I came in, in the yeah. morning. Yeah. I was um Nikona Kuna Joni Kajamba today's bound to be a good day. Yeah, it is a good day. It is a good day. Yeah. Karibu Sana to Y254. Asante, thank you for having me. So what do you do? I am a researcher attached to a senator, so basically, and I am a media consultant. Yeah. And uh, that involves, um, me as a researcher, involves having to find out everything that is ongoing in the nation, the country, or, but most importantly, the, the county where I come from, Tarakaniti. My senator is uh, Senator Mwenda Gataya from Tarakaniti County. It's the first time senator, but uh, we're doing good. We're <laughs> doing good. As a media consultant, I basically, I, I, I found that there was a very big gap between businesses or persons that would be interested to showcase themselves or their business or their agendas, anything, and uh, TV. So I, I, I want to use my connection because mm. I built it in, uh, in a while. I've built it, so I felt like I can, I can bridge that gap. Yeah, so I get people to... to, to interviews give them shows do yeah basically that's just me you know um when when i was asking you what do you do i was i was thinking in my mind that you know when you say media uh, research and media consultant you'd probably think it's someone seated in an office doing digital uh, like you know doing going um doing research in an office but then now that you're bringing the aspect that you actually give people shows tell us about that Okay, yeah, 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 all right, I'm sorry about that. As a researcher, yes, I'm very much in the office um, working. Media consultancy is a part-time thing that I do, yeah? But basically, I am a research and communications person for the Senate of the Rakanipi. Diving into the media is, a. Uh, you see, there's, uh, there's a very, very huge gap between uh, these startup businesses or, or startup um Basically, I usually basically work with the uh, with the uh, politicians and uh, and uh, and businesses, yeah. So the fact that I can bring them closer to their audiences is, uh, yeah, definitely it's it's just a double thing. Yeah, so media, um, media and uh, research are very much separate, but uh, but uh, yeah, research is the office one, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yes, all right. You are. So, in 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 short, yeah. um, if we will link what you what you are explaining or rather saying is yeah. that, um, on one end, you'll do. Okay, I don't know why I'm always imagining that communication people are always. Uh, I did communication personally. Yes. Yeah. So right. I don't know why I'm always imagining that when you're in the communication field, you're handling paperwork behind the scene kind of work. And then when you come to media, you're on the front on the front line, right? Actually, on the media part, I am so much behind the scenes. Yeah. So you get to meet. Uh, I I just bring clients. Yeah. To you, to you, the host. My, my job basically behind the media consultancy is uh, giving clients an opportunity to showcase what they have, what they want to sell to either the nation or which county, just bringing them closer to their audience depending on what they have uh, yeah, to bring. And uh, communication bit of it is, uh, communication bit of it is attached to, to the research. So I am behind so many papers, uh, office, whatnot, but also being a researcher and, uh, uh, and on uh, communication, I have to be so much on the field. So uh, the, the whatever brings me closer to the scene is, is uh, research and communication, but media consultancy is, um, yeah, I'm just behind the scenes. What's pretty what, much. What, what type of clients do you deal with? My clientele is um, Alan and the senator. 
other than the senator. <laughs> Actually, it's just anyone. I, it's just anyone that has anything to show. Yeah, if you have, if you have an ambition, if you have a business, if you have, yeah, anything. Just it's basically open to anyone. I also support talent. So basically, so many people are out there. They want someone to bring them closer to. You see, many people are looking for opportunities to be seen and be heard. So I, just, yeah, it's just anyone for me. I don't have a specific group that I say, yeah, you know, I want to only work with the CEOs. I only want to work with the politicians. Or no, no, no. Behind the media consultancy thing, it's everyone. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is. It's open for anyone. It, as long as you have something to show for. And to be honest, um, I think I think I love I love working as a media consultant because it's just not about. Actually, there's not much money to charge. You see, it's yeah, you know many many times I just work with what do I see? Do I see something in you? Whatever comes, yeah. If I see something in you, then we go with that. Mostly, yeah. I love, I love, I, lo I love, I love media consultancy mm -hmm. thing. But it's pretty much anyone is open to having a. If you give me a con communicate, if you communicate with me well, okay. yeah, you you get the chance. So how how are you able to like um, save rather to tell um, this is genuine or you know, this one is chasing clouds. You know, how are you able to really tell the authentic clients from fake ones? Because you know, right now I might come to you, mm -hmm. but I'm not. I'm fake. You're fake. Because yeah. I know you have probably a following one, two. Mm. I know you have network. Mm -hmm. So I want to attach myself to, to you. Me. So how you how are you able to tell between an authentic client and a fake client? Uh, I I think for me basically, I think for me, I have that gift that we call the gift of discernment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have that gift of discernment. It's so easy to tell when someone is, it's so, it's just so easy when you have, um, and actually it's, it's so easy because telling you, you can see from, from the things they say, from, from their, you can, you can just tell it's so easy because you have to give me a background. I don't just work with you that, you you're starting up yes it's okay we, we also work with startups but you have to give me a background i also do i'm a researcher so i have to to do a background check is this person legit is this person a, a scam or what are they about what are the end goals for them yeah because so many people so many people in so many ways are just after the cloud and so it's just basically the gift of discernment and uh and a background check. I'm a researcher, so it's easy, so easy for me. So let me ask you, have you ever found yourself, um, or rather, not really found yourself, but are you, are you, do you do branding for, now that you work for the senator yeah. of Tarek Yeah. do you do branding for him? I do branding for him, but yeah, yeah, I, I think I do branding for <laughs> him. But on the higher level, he does the branding for himself. He's, he's a good person, yeah? When you, when you, sometimes you don't even need branding. When you, when you have the picture right in your head, it, he's ambitious, he's an ambitious person, yeah? So he has it figured out, but I am there as an assistant, you see? So I'm, I'm there as an assistant to the glory you see, every every person, every person that every great person has someone pushing them. So my work is just to push, to push him. You know, tell him that this and this is happening here and here. What do you think we should do about it? And he's the decision maker. Is 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 a big person. He's a big person. So I do the branding, but on the higher note, he does the branding himself. He, you see, when you are a great person, you don't. You don't need someone to talk for you or represent you. It will speak for itself. And most, most chances, most, 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 whatever, he does the branding himself. But I'm just there to push it. Yeah. Do you, do you think that um, politicians, yeah. rather people in high, follow 
lack of a better word, yeah. in high places, like, yeah. you know, higher powers, uh, yeah. CEOs, yeah. Uh, CFOs, yes. uh, presidents, mm -hmm. politicians, mm -hmm. name them, you yeah. know, just some people in authority and actually people who have power. Mm. Do you think they need, there is need for a PR branding communication consultant? I really, I really feel there's a very, very, very high need for that. It's a basic need. I feel like it's a basic need for them because um, when you have an ambition to grow, you just can't say that, you know, I am this, so I'll just stay back, hold back, and, and wait for everyone to see that, you see, I am good. We need, we need PR. They need PR pretty much because... It's, it's a very big rank, yeah? It's a very big place. It's a higher place, yeah? So PR comes in when you need to reach many, many, many people. You need, if he is doing, for example, I'm talking about my boss. If he needs to put on, um, to do something, for example, in his county, he needs PR because we need this thing to reach so many people because some, sometimes you you just can't work with the word of mouth from yourself from yeah it just pr is a is a basic need for them yeah just for reachability and traction for for a while now there has been a notion that um communication yeah. um experts yeah. or rather um, so yeah communication experts mm -hmm do the dirty work of sanitizing a politician's <laughs> image. <laughs> I, I know this is a sensitive one, but let me just ask. All right. Uh, what's your take on that? Uh, the, like sanitizing you know, the sanitizing thing. The sanitizing thing. The, the politician is a will, dirty, dirty will, work. We'll do, we'll do, you know, we'll do, uh, I don't know how to put it. Let me just give an example of... Uh, what Moses Kuria did, because yeah. that was in the public, what, yeah. what Moses yeah. Kuria did with yeah. NTV. And now you know there was someone who needed to, quote unquote, sanitize, sanitize that. his image. Yeah. So what's your take on politicians doing the most and getting sanitized? In yes, the exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but my, my take is um, sometimes, sometimes politicians are human not sometimes every every other time politicians are human and human is bound to error error so it's it's okay to have you know i am this big person so if i create an image that makes me look bad and sometimes it's just human error so if you make a mistake right now and uh, you come to figure out oh my god i did make that mistake and you can't do that you don't you can't do anything to clean it yourself why not? I I feel like having someone to, I wouldn't really call it sanitizing. It's just rectifying the mistakes and reminding you that, you know, it's this mistake that I have done because I am human, but I can do better. And I have always done, you know, there, there are so many things that before he did whatever he did and all, all other politicians, you see, there's so many other good things that they do. So we should not block them or lock them to thinking that when you make a mistake, it's non-rectifiable. So I think sanitizing anyone, everyone, everyone needs someone to do the, you know, remind people that <laughs> behind this person that is here is a good person. Yeah. But are they justified to keep doing what they're doing because there's it's someone not justified. Will... It's not justified. I'm not justifying it. I'm just saying that it's humanists do error, so we can't keep judging other people. And you told me you're a Christian, so you know very well they're not allowed to judge. So just having someone that rectifies your mistake is. As long as you say tunambiagua kosa si kosa kosa ni kurudia kosa, so. I feel like if you're open to seeing that I made a mistake as a person and I am willing to change, then yeah. But it's 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 not us, the communications people that um, mm. that uh, really have. It's it's not us. So them mm. themselves, the politicians or the CEOs or the CFOs or whatever. Most of them, it's a personal choice. Do you do you do you want? If you want to be sanitized, if you want to give a clean image it's it's 
it's up to them if they ask you you know you sometimes sometimes they just don't want it sometimes they feel like ah, you may shock or fear so what so it's up to them it's really not up to us it our job is to do our job and make a image that we are yeah 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 let's let's move to digital media Digital of course, media. now that you're a researcher, yeah, <laughs> you, you know, uh, it cuts across. So what do you think is the role of um, digital media in women empowerment? Oh, okay. I, I feel like digital media, mm -hmm. what I'm going to say about that is uh, it's, it's, it, gives, it gives a clear picture, clear mind. Yeah, so it's, it, it attracts reachability. Also, digital me with when I'm like, for example, me being here, it's I'm sure there's someone watching me somewhere and feeling, uh, you know, this is this girl featured in a strength of a woman on Y254, Y in the morning. So I feel like it 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 builds others, nurtures, it, it just creates also. Yeah, so I feel digital media is. Uh, on the on the on the note for us, yeah, for a strength of woman. You, you, you I don't know if I answered you that rightly, but uh, we're getting there. Yeah, okay, we're, get, we're getting there. Um, you've raised you've raised something. You've raised um, a point that has um, stirred a thought in yeah, my okay. mind. All right. You look. Um, forgive my, <laughs> forgive my judging. Okay. But you look young. Yes, I am young. <laughs> Do you, and 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 um. Being a young person, this is a young people TV, so yeah. being a young person yeah. and um, working, being a young person, a woman, yeah. and working like. for, uh, for, for, let's say, a senator is not a small person. It's, it's, it's exactly. definitely not. Exactly. I'll tell you why he's not a small person. And I'll tell you that as much as we are branding them, mm -hmm. they are branding us, yeah. Because uh, when it comes to working for someone like that, you get the opportunity to meet other greater people. You, you get the, the, the opportunity to meet the president, who is not. So, yeah, it's not a small person. So, so continue. Exactly. So, sorry, sorry for working that. for yeah. a big person, mm -hmm. tell us, how is the experience? I'm telling you, everything that has an advantage has a very high chance of having disadvantages. So it's it's not easy. One, it's not easy, but it's enjoyable, and uh, it it it's fulfilling. I would say it's as much as it's yeah as much as it's good. There's also some challenges that come with it. Have you encountered bullying? Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Uh, you want to talk about it? I really want to. This this one time when mm -hmm. I got when I when I got the job, yeah. This this one time I went to the village, so everyone nowadays my name is not even Salex in the no one sees me as me anymore. When I go back where where I call home, no one sees me as me anymore. Everybody feels like yo, Moshimiwa, my fika. So there's this one time I go to the village, and. Um, so I interact with so many people because you see, now now that I am in that position, I have to, you know, represent the senator wherever I go. So uh, the following day, I had been sent to a fundraiser, not a fundraiser. I think it was a Thanksgiving by the senator. He was out of the country. So me and my family, all of us, go to the church. It's in Chogoria. and coming back home, we find that. I don't know how they jumped the fence because it was very high. We find that somebody had, had broken into, into our house and taken everything, just everything. I don't even, because we are in a very separate, uh, separate, uh, very, very, whatever, what do I call it? We're in an estate that uh, it's out of reach, pretty much. But we had neighbors and our security was off that day. so. I'm telling you, there's so much bullying. But then also there's this aspect that you you are sometimes sometimes I want to encourage people to see to see women as women who are or they are not in that position because you know they are women. Sometimes they have 
brains. Mm -hmm. They have, they have, they have what it takes. I'm not here because, yeah, the senator decided. Anyone, anyone has more qualifications than than me. Every so many people have more qualifications. So the fact that you would assume or think that people are in that state because they are they are they have you know they yeah. are you know being favored or whatnot so there's a lot of bullying in that sexuality thing so there's yeah, yeah it, and it's not just in the village in Nairobi too you ask you tell someone asks you I, I remember someone so many people asking me I've been asked hey where do you work and then I say I'm working for the state of the Rakanipi and he's like, hmm, what did you do to <laughs> get there? What, uh, is, uh, Akwaza, I'm telling you, one of the questions they ask is, are you related? Oh. And if you're not related, uh, then you have something going on for... Uh, but it's, it's, just, it's just an aspect of women being bullied. I would say that for myself and so many other people, we got here because we are qualified to be here and because we are meant to stay here. Yeah, just whatever. But you just don't listen to so bullies. So how do you deal with it? I just don't listen. I flush it out. I have been here for a long time. I have been a woman for a long time. So I, I feel like at, at first it's, it used to get to me. It used to get to me. It used to... I used to go home and just cry. Oh my God, not not what. Mm -hmm. But then, but then I felt like I've I, I encouraged myself. I read the Bible a lot, so I got the encouragement that whatever whatever when when I'm doing good, it's a problem for someone. When I'm not doing good, it's, it's a problem, problem for some. Yeah, and it, nothing will ever make people people happy about you. If someone wants to be happy with you or for you, they will just be happy. But if so many times, ah, it's just nice. I just assume it's nice. It's just nice for me. Mostly, I get it's just it, nice. I get it. You, 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 do you do content creation? I actually do not do good. I'm actually not so much on the forefront, on the media forefront. I've been here behind the scenes, but I'm never that much seen. I just do, when I want to appear on interviews such as this, mm. it's just once in a while. I'm not that public person mm -hmm. but i'm getting into it <laughs> i get it so yeah. while, while you were sharing about um how women are perceived yeah in when, when right you get such a job yeah right you mentioned something about um you meant we were talking about bullying yeah and then and then a thought came to my mind <laughs> have you experienced um trolling online cyber bullying Online, uh, I have, I have, I have, pretty much I have because uh, this, this person, this, um, this, this one time I made a comment, I made a comment and actually someone comment, commented about me and I reacted and, uh, and there was all these, oh my goodness, oh, there's all these trolls, why not, you are rude and I'm telling you, people do not, people feel like so many times I don't know if people feel like I am a stone that you see when you throw me I just stand there you see just whatever you've thrown me I'll just stay still people so much throw stones and uh, they don't expect a reaction they act and don't re expect a, a reaction so pretty much I have sorry about trolls that. But uh, it's, it used to get to me. It really used to get to me. But right now, I just flash it off. I stopped caring. It, because now there's... I realize it's not just me. If I react sometimes, I'm not... I might be reacting for myself. But nowadays, I have my name attached to the senator. So it's not about me anymore. So I, I just stopped. I just stopped listening. I, when I see, I just assume it's someone else because now I'm carrying an, identif an identity that is not even mine. I'm not even sure if I am myself. I am very much myself, but I'm carrying someone else's identity. So I have, as much as I have to protect myself, I have to protect it first because, because it, it puts food on my table. It's, yeah, so, but also because also because I feel like 
the reason I have to protect my senator before my feelings, yeah, is because there's so many people that look up to this person that, yeah, you see, and there's so, so, there's this ambition and there's this, there's this, 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 just don't want to get him attached to my own stuff, yeah, so. I feel like he has so much to offer the people of Tarakanithi mm. County, but that he's, he's actually currently the, the, the best politician, political, the, the best performing politician in, our, in, uh, in the Senate. Oh. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> nice. Yeah, really. So, um, that, your previous um, comment brings me to this aspect of do you feel pressure to act a certain way, to live a certain way? How do you deal with it? Telling it pretty much, uh, I came on a Uber, yeah, so, 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 so it's, it's expected that, you know, you, you wish she's driving, yeah, you see. Especially, I've not been working for him for a long time. It's, this is my sixth month, yeah. So um, now it is, it's not just, just pressure from, from the people, my friends or what. It's pressure from even my family. They expect that, uh, you see. Now you got, it's, it's more demand. I feel like right now I am, I am more pressured than I have ever been because everyone wants, uh, wants something. Everyone, it's just give, 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 give. It's not just that. I also pressure myself because I also want to perform. But yeah, it's just so much, so much pressure, so How much do you pressure. Deal with it? Oh my goodness! I'm telling you, sometimes it's hard, but uh, you have to look within you. Now you see, for someone like me, it, it's it wasn't expected that. Right now, I am. I am getting all these group invites. Oh, Sijui, there's fundraiser for what? Oh, Sijui, there's building what? What not? What not? And sometimes it, you just can't give as much as generosity is is a, is a virtue. But uh, you just can't. You don't. You, I'm not making money enough to just be 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 what? Gener giving it out. Not not giving it out. But it's. I'm not. I'm not charity is a good is a good purpose, yeah. But um, right now there's so much, so much of give this, and when you don't give them, when you don't meet so many people's expectations, they start to feel like, oh, she's bragging, oh, she got this, and and now she is this different person. I want, I want. Sometimes I just want to go home. I just sometimes I feel like the day is too long. I just want to go home and sleep. Mostly when I get home, my phone is. I am very unreachable nowadays because there's all these demands, all these calls, all these whatnot. But we're managing it. I manage it by just being silent. Yeah, just being silent and remembering that I am myself. That that. Whatever you think, it doesn't affect me. Yeah, people's opinions so many times do not have to affect you. Plus, I'm a very prayerful person. <laughs> I'm a very prayerful person. So sometimes I feel like when I am very low, I, I feel like I would I would just lean back on 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 my Bible or on praise or worship or yeah, just anything that just. Let the you, you see there's there's a way there there are times that you're uplifted by by when you're on a low spirit you're uplifted by by just leaning on God just yeah. leaning on God yeah pretty so much so having been in um some some prestigious platforms yeah what would you say are some of the challenges facing women in those platforms I would I would say uh, bullies one bully and then expectations so many expectations are bowed on us downed on us and also also i would say so many um so many inferior inferiority complex persons uh try to infringe those they, they, their inferiority whatever on us so it's it's a uh, it's challenging. It's it's not easy for a woman. When you see a woman that is doing something for themselves, I feel like pick up that person because there's so much. There's so much 
dethroned on us. There's so much expectations on us. There's so much trashing on us that you see when a woman makes it, so many of the women that have made it, they have been told it's, it's because they have dated this one or because they're married to this one or because they did this. No one, no one sees the efforts of the woman, yeah? Because, for example, myself, I am a parent. So waking up every day, preparing my children to do, I have one child, but also I'm with my sister. So preparing my kid, my sister to, to, to go to school or perhaps go to, to, to play or whatnot. And then also juggling being a parent and work is not easy because for a man it's easy because you have sometimes men choose not to be in the, in the kid their children's life and it's not optional for us so it's not it's 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 really quite a challenge being a woman and making a name for yourself or or making strides for yourself or sometimes i just think it takes dedication it takes passion it takes it takes everything every, every it takes god number one it takes god yeah you just you just need all those positivity i feel like sometimes when i'm so low i i sometimes as a woman when you when you're striving when you're thriving you 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 realize you look you look ahead you see there's so many people ahead of you and then you look back and you see no mm -hmm. one <laughs> holding you, no one supporting you mm. if they feel like you you know so many people are okay when you're just on their level mm. when you try to to drive ahead of them or or be higher than what they expect or, or, the, or the, than the boundaries they set for you you, you find yourself alone. Sometimes you need someone as a woman or, or just not, yeah, you need someone to hold you. But the moment they feel like you're doing something great with your life or something great for yourself, sometimes you're stuck alone to just walk. Yeah, sometimes you just, uh, as a woman, I would encourage someone to just find that person, just one person, doesn't have to be a man, doesn't have to be a parent, just one friend that you know when things get hard, you know you can cry to them. And I feel like mostly we have, we have over what? Over, over, what do you call it? we have put friendship on a, it, like it's like something very high sometimes that person you need is god mostly you have to 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 talk to god talk just don't pray talk to him because so many times you might have that friend you call a best friend i'm saying friends are very important in your life but you you have those people that you you feel like you see i am a woman now this is my best friend so i can share everything but deeply those people are are not happy sometimes it's with you sometimes it's just fake so sometimes you just need to ask god to bring the right people to you okay. yeah okay yeah how does your normal day look like <laughs> my normal day looks like i wake up I wake up, I'm not going to lie to you that I <laughs> pray every time, but I wake up, put on some gospel music, and uh, go to the shower, uh, wake the kids up, get them breakfast, uh, and then uh, go to work. And then, yeah, if right now it's holidays, so you just leave them there. So yeah, go to work. Or um, I start at the office, but when we have committees, sometimes I just go straight to the Senate. And if I have a client that I'm bringing on a, on a show, sometimes I wake up and make them, make, prepare them that, you know, you remember mm. we have this and this and at this time and this time. Okay. Pretty much on a busy day. Oh, my busiest days are when we have, um, when, when we have events in the, in the county. And I mean, now you have to wake up, prepare yourself to go for either a day or two, or when you have just events, whether in the county or any other places, or when you have, yeah, just my, my <laughs> days are very normal. Normal, normal, but very mm. busy sometimes. Yeah. On the road, are you a cheater or a tortoise? What? On the road, are you a cheater or a tortoise? Okay, it depends. <laughs> what are the <laughs> aspects of what are a the cheater? Character? You love speed. A tortoise, I, I feel like I'm a cheater. 
feel like I am a tortoise. Ni utaki kukimbisho haraka. Sitaki sitaki haraka. <laughs> sitaki haraka. <laughs> Not just see on the road you don't mean at the at the driving driving. driving driving. Oh, you mean driving? You mean. Yes. All right. I love the speed. <laughs> <laughs> I love the speed on. You're a cheater. Yeah, you, I'm you a cheater. Said it like you look like someone who likes I love I love speed. I love speed. I thought you 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 no, were talking about the aspect of, of life of walking. No 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 no. no, no. Okay, I meant I meant on the road. Ah, I know. On the on the road I love I so. <laughs> ah, no. So, I I feel like being a tortoise on the road is boring. I yeah, and I want to explore some speed. Yeah, as long as it's not uh, it's it's uh, it's not dangerous or it's it's, it's safety. It's safe. All right. Sorry. I'm sorry. As long as it's safe, mm -hmm. that's okay with me. What will an ideal rest day look f look like for you? <laughs> like if you're given like two more rest, like two more rest, don't come to work, do uh, rest. rest. Just so what I would that look you, like? I'm for telling you. you, on weekends I usually have rest days here, yeah, or some of the weekends. But so a rest day for me means I go home, sleep, get someone to bring me food. As I sleep, I don't even go to my sitting room. I just sleep. I just sleep. I do everything from bed. It's a rest day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be hectic, by the way. Working sometimes can be hectic. It's not just draining uh, physically. Mm -hmm. It's draining also mentally. So sometimes you just need a break to rest. I don't even go out on weekends sometimes. I just want to be in bed all day. Eat, take a shower, eat, <laughs> but just be in bed. Yeah. So what, what are the like? five things you can't leave the house without as a girl as a girl <laughs> <laughs> an extra pair of shoes uh -huh. some wipes uh -huh. an eye pencil okay uh what is it a lip balm mm -hmm. yeah four. four. Oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> and a pad and a pad Ooh. yes okay okay <laughs> Are you heels or a flat shoe person? I am a heels person. I am a heels person. Now, what what That's happened? That's why you're carrying an extra pair. Actually, what happened today is, I forgot my heels in the house. I, I was I I thought I put them in my bag, so I thought ah, I'm just going downstairs, and then when the Uber comes to pick me up, I'm just going to change into heels, mm. and then when we got here. I'm like, oh my Where goodness, oh my I goodness. Know. I know that <laughs> feeling. Uh, yeah, so I'm a heels oh, person, heels any day, any time. So I'm very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. It's, no, it's okay. No, it's okay, no, it's okay. They're not seeing your, your feet, they just see ah, you. Ah, it's okay, it's okay, I don't mind. <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you very much thank for having for me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is saying to now, and I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> but thank you, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you for you. making time to talk to us. Yeah, thank you. Also. And sharing what you do as a woman in the county, yeah. you know, yeah. everything mm -hmm. it means a lot. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, also. That was Salex Karimi, research a research and media consultant at Tharakanithi. She works with the Tharakanithi Senator at Parliament and also in Tarakanithi County and she has been talking to us a lot about the impact women make in media research and the political space. Val is coming back with more but before Val comes back with more, Nimeskia kukona dance challenge mahali. So Val akuja tupimani nguvu. Nilikuwa nimesema nimegonjaka na kama hivi kidogo kidogo nimechange mind. But anyway, that and much more is coming up. Don't touch that dial.